this man is the best of the best. Yeah, he's the freak of freaks. When, when he moves inside the octagon, there's certain movements that he makes, certain certain techniques that he executes where you just can't believe how powerful and fast this man truly is. And talented and very technically skilled as well. It is a high stakes matchup. Five and oh, inside the octagon. Arguably the greatest Brazilian Jiu Jitsu artist in mixed martial arts history. The Alligator, the former Strike Force middleweight champion, the Jiu Jitsu world champion, Jacare Souza. It's almost unfortunate that Damian Mayan decided yeah, right. to go down to 170 because that's the argument. It's between these two gentlemen, both from Brazil, both just absolutely sensational Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world champions. The difference being that Jacare has developed into a dangerous knockout striker, particularly in the Yushin Okami fight. He has worked tirelessly on his striking, done a lot of training at Black House, done a lot of training at Rain, at Rain with Mark Munoz, and just focused so much on his overall MMA game that out of nowhere, this knockout striking just started to appear and manifest itself over the last couple of years. And again, like I said, the Yushin Okami fight was probably the best example of that very fast and his arsenal of Brazilian jiu-jitsu techniques is unparalleled. 13 career wins by submission, guillotine, four arm triangle, triangle, three rear naked choke, Kimura, three arm bar. Winner of eight straight, 12 of his last 13. He's also very creative in the way he achieves positions. His jiu-jitsu game is very difficult to predict. And if you look at the arm bar that he got in the last Chris Camozzi fight, it's just a work of art. I think I've watched that transition about 50 times. He's one of my all-time favorites to watch. What's interesting about this fight, Mike, is that both of these guys are at their peak right now as mixed martial artists. Both of these guys were amongst the very best ever in their respective disciplines of wrestling and grappling. And I think they're facing each other at an amazing time. And either one of these guys could easily have been fighting for the title in a very competitive matchup against the champion, Chris Weidman. Well, in 2011 in Strikeforce, Souza fought for the title against none other than Luke Rockhold. Defeated that night by Rockhold, has not lost since. The Alligator entering the octagon. Weidman Rockhold next, but first. Jacare and the Soldier of God, Yoel Romero. This is one of three fights in a row that I couldn't hazard a guess as to what's gonna happen when these guys collide. Great part of our job is we're about to find out. <laughs> our tale of the tape for this marquee middleweight matchup brought to you by the new movie, The Hateful Eight, starring Samuel L. Jackson in select theaters December 25th. Jacques Ray 36, Romero 38. Romero with a slight reach advantage. Once again, the veteran voice of the octagon, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Ten wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting at a Coconut Creek, Florida, by Ed Pinar del Rio, Cuba, presenting the 2000 Olympics freestyle wrestling silver medalist and the number three ranked middleweight contender in the world, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. 22 wins, three losses, one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former strike force middleweight champion and the number two ranked middleweight contender in the world, Jacare Sousa. 
When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard, our referee. Number two against number three. Here at UFC 194, Aldo versus McGregor. Okay, gentlemen, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, Yoel see. Romero. Here we go. White trunks for Romero. Black trunks for Jacare Souza. Southpaw Romero. Orthodox Souza. Jacare plods forward, throws hard strikes, closes the distance. Yoel is very relaxed and loose until he explodes. And he has worked very hard on managing his energy inside the octagon because he's had some problems in the past where he kind of gassed out a little bit, got fatigued. So he's really gotten very good at relaxing until he explodes. And he lulls guys to sleep. And then out of nowhere, you see the lightning fast, explosive power. I mean, considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest wrestler for over a decade, silver medalist at the Olympics, swing to the body from Souza. Did you just look at the build of Romero, those legs? Looks like a football fullback. Jacare putting a lot of pressure on him right now. Jacare, again, supremely confident in his striking. Has really become a dangerous knockout artist. Brazil versus Cuba here. And we got the Irish fans being vocal once again. What we've never seen with Yoel is Yoel try to fight his way out of a submission either. Yeah. Especially against a guy as talented as Jacare. 10 and 1, Yoel Romero. Jacare, respectful of Yoel's power, hands up, chin tucked. Romero has not lost Joe since 2011 as well. There's that little burst you talked about. Not full strength. He's keeping his opponent at range and keeping his attention. You see how relaxed he is? Yeah. But we saw in the Lyoto Machida fight when he decided it was time, he just swarmed him, smashed him into the ground. The performance of the night for Romero against the Dragon. A lot of mutual respect here as well, Joe. Cuffed him with that one. Really didn't hit him with the fist. Kind of caught him with his wrist. Jacare looking for the opening for that straight right hand. Or the front kick. Loves that front kick to the body. Perhaps hoping that Yoel jumps on it so he can grab his neck. We talk about the great skills possessed by Jacare, the great grappling skills that have led him to so many victories. But keep in mind, Romero trains an American top team. So he sees animals who can grapple and submit every single day in practice. Jacare is surprisingly flat-footed, Mike. Time remains. Jacare saying, come on down. And Yoel's coming down. Look at this. Hammer fist. Power. He's got to be very careful. Yeah. He's stuck in the guard. Really looking to finish it right here. He's, he's, he's giving Jacare an opportunity to survive them. Let's see if he gets up here soon, Joe. It seemed like he'd be better off if you let him stand back up, right? Romero confident. Oh, uh, there's gotta be big careful shots to... right there. Oh. Dishes ground and pound by your own Romero. He's swinging wide shots here. Elbows. Hard elbows inside. Jacare's trying to cover up, trying to control the biceps. Good posture by Yoel Romero. Oh. Oh. Almost. Yep. Look how quick he threw that up. But Yoel defended. More that big shots. Through. 30 seconds. Oh, big Huge elbow. elbow. Oh, and another. 
Jacare trying to look for an armbar here. 20 seconds. Can he Yoel get it? No. Hold right out of it. Huge first round for Yoel oh. Romero. Big and uppercut. He continues to pour it on. Joey connected with the spin and then punched him on the ground. Big round. Big round for Yoel Romero. And Jacare gets up very slowly. He's dazed, Mike. Wow, he's wobbly. He can barely walk. All right, now let's recuperate. Relax. That's it. Are you well? Okay. Just breathe. That's it. Let's take a look at the spinning back fist that started it all off. Look at this. Wow! Right on the jaw. Let's take one more look at it here. Bam! And Jacare's legs give out. And here's some of the ground and pound oh. by Yoel Romero. Jacare is still in big trouble, Mike. He's still wobbling, just standing here. What's going on? Ah. Uh, oh, not this again. Glimpses. Well, the opposite yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, he was Tim hurt Kennedy. against Tim Kennedy. Yeah. But like, you know, corners have to know you can't do that. You can't pour water all over the guy. Mark Goddard got control of the situation quickly. Put these guys right into action for round two. Jacare still could be walking while out right here. He could be completely out on his feet. Because he was so wobbly when he went back to the corner, Mike. And Yoel just relaxed and patient, looking to explode on him. Like the featherweight champion, Jose Aldo, Jacare grew up in the tough streets of Manaus as well. Up the middle. Look at Yoel. So confident. So relaxed, too. Just Jacare looking for that right hand, but Yoel gets his hand up. Jacare got pneumonia, UFC 184. Romero had a ligament meniscus tear on Fox. We finally meet here as a precursor to a middleweight title fight. Well, the more time goes on here in this exchange, standing up like this, the more Jacare gets to recover. The question is, how much can he recover? Right. I mean, he took some bombs, and he could very likely have a concussion right now. Romero very comfortable, very patient here in round two. Well, he'll wait for Jacare to make a mistake. Yeah. Look at slams him to the ground. She throws him aside. Good luck taking this guy down if he doesn't right. want to grapple. The old use your wrestling in reverse. Yeah, if you had to pick like the biggest athletic freak you've ever seen inside the octagon, it's not a hard pick. But you're <laughs> looking at him right there. That's the biggest freak. And I mean that with all respect. Absolutely. I mean, just like he's the outlier of all outliers when it comes to athleticism. And his appearance. In those legs, you know, like I said, it looks like a football player. Cardinals great, Larry Fitzgerald in attendance here. Probably thinking, hey, this guy could play on our team on Sundays. Jacare needs to try yeah. to make something Jacare happen. Jacare looking for the takedown. Yoel has his leg up. Jacare goes in deep, goes in deep. Yoel defends. Battle of upper body strength now, looking for a little trip. Holding on to the fence. Mark Goddard came over. Yoel on top. What happened? What happened? What happened? Stand up. 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 Listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. Hold on Come. to the fence. Stand up. Listen. First the fence. Look at me. You got top position because of it. I've took it away. You understand me? Wow. Do it again. Once more. Take that point. Strong words and an excellent oh, no, move by Mark Goddard. Yeah. Turn back in. He's at the I top like position. I like what he said there. He got top position turn because in. of that, and I'm taking it away. Turn in. Turn, turn in. Turn wow. in. Turn back in, guys. Let's go. Mark Goddard reacted quickly. Wow. And
and did a great job getting this fight back to neutral. That's an excellent referee right there, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I like what he did there. And you could see Romero clearly had a good grip on the cage. Neither man taking over in this round yet. After a big round one for Romero. Oh, elbow straight left. Jacare seems to have recovered, Mike. A kick to the body by Yoel. We're seeing some deeper breathing by Yoel and a little bit of slowing of his movement. Now, when you carry the frame that he does, and Joe, you've talked about it for years, you definitely can get gassed up. Yeah, and that's why he's got that sort of light, loose, yes. flowing movement before he explodes, but he has slowed down in fights before, and it appears that he's slowing down right now. And that gives an opportunity for Jacques Array when he lands that right hand. And Yoel shakes him off, but he's making Yoel work. Six fight win streak, all of those in the octagon. Good right hand to the body right there by Jacques Array. Jacques Array needs this round, wants to pull even with Romero. Yoel standing in front of him much more now, Mike, to rest, just relax, and hoping that Jacques Array doesn't attack. It's like a gamble. You have to figure out when you can be on your feet and move, when you should just take deep breaths and try to recover. But he's most certainly slowed down here. His mouth's open, and even the punches are coming slow. But keep in mind, Souza took a bunch of punishment in the first five minutes. He certainly did, Mike, but he looks good right now. The way he's moving, he looks like he's recovered. I mean, he's in tremendous shape, and oftentimes when guys are in great shape, they can recover from yeah. fierce punishment like that and come back. Beautiful inside leg kick. Right on that cap. Final seconds of the round. Yoel with some big, deep breaths. He goes back to his corner. Look at him. That's Don't a tired man. He is exhausted. That's <laughs> right. They're doing it again with the water on him, and I hope Mark Goddard is on that. Because if he wants to get some more time in between rounds, he might, they might soak him. Keep going. Just five more minutes. Five more minutes. In the Kennedy fight, Joe. Let's go. Yeah. Right, they're, they're toweling him off. Yeah. Ricardo Laborio recognizing that. Yeah. Yeah. UFC 194, Aldo versus McGregor, sponsored by EA Sports UFC 2. Fight for the cover. Will it be Aldo or McGregor? We'll find out tonight who joins Ronda Rousey on the cover of EA Sports UFC 2, available this spring on Xbox One and PS4. Third and final round. Interesting, Mike. Jacare seems to be the fresher fighter going into this third round, which is amazing considering the beating he took in the first. Neither man with a decisive round two. Jacare, as you can see, is going to look to pick up the tempo here with now four and a half minutes remaining in this fight. Good front kick to the body by Jacques Ray. And a nice leg kick as well. Oh, whoa. Oh, that was close. Ducked right into that Absolutely. one. Absolutely. That could have been lights out. Number two, Souza. Number three, Romero. Number one and the champ coming up next. It's interesting, you gotta wonder what kind of a pace can Yoel keep up in a five-round championship fight. Great point. Nice straight left. But well, Jacare's been in a lot of five-rounders, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has, and he knows how to pace himself. Yeah. And he also doesn't carry as much muscle as Yoel does, which requires energy, requires oxygen. Jacare, takedown attempt. 
so good. Yeah, beautiful scramble. 2000 Olympics, Sydney, Australia, silver medalist, freestyle wrestling. Romero, one of the only people to defeat Kale Sanderson, and he did it twice. The 2004 gold medalist in Athens. Oh, lead up and cut. Just over three now. As dominant as Romero was in the first round, Joe, this round may be the one that gives us our victory. Not sure how round two went in the eyes of the judges. We certainly know how round one did. Jacare pushing. Jacare. Oh, Romero up against the cage, trying to tee off, looking for a double. Can he get it? Yes. Look at this. Looking to advance his position. Jacques Array with the takedown on top, looking for an arm triangle, wanting to pin down the right arm. In half guard. Trapping him in place here, looking for his openings. Note how he's keeping the half guard. Mike, see how he's got his legs triangled? Yep, yep. Now he's opening it up. He's going to try to push his knees closer to the body of Yoel Romero without allowing Yoel to get his right knee in play. He doesn't want to get that right knee in play. Good shots by Jacare. In this third and final round, under two minutes remain in the fight. Romero on the bottom for the first time. And he's going to try to pop that left leg over the top and out. He's essentially out of half guard right here. It's his choice to stay in this position right now. And he's holding him here, punching his leg. That's interesting. Holding Yoel down, but Yoel trying to scramble. Big Hard elbows now by Jacques Jacare. Under 90 seconds, more big shots by Souza. Jacare softening him to the body with these knees. And Yoel tries to get that knee in play and hip escape, but Jacare meets him. Big round for the over. Brazilian. Huge. turned him over from round one. But not much time to work here. If right. he's going to work for a submission, he really should try to advance now. But it's a matter of whether or not he loses this position and Watch your fingers in the eyes, please. showing Watch that he's fingers. controlling he the fight right now. Work to improve. And Joe, you could see the takedown take nothing away from Jacare. But Romero didn't really try to fight it off because, as you mentioned, his gas tank very depleted. And this is the result. Well, I think that's all he had. Yeah. Know? I mean, I think he did try to fight it off, but, you know, it's all he had. Yep. So Jacare made an attempt right there at passing half guard. He's not allowing Yoel to get that underhook. Yoel wants the underhook. If he gets the underhook, he'll try to stand back up with it. 20 Jacare. seconds on the clock. Jacare right in front of us here. Yoel almost back up to his feet, and he's up. up. Final seconds of this fight. 10 seconds. Good round for Jacare. They go the distance. Interesting. Really depends on how they scored that first round. You know, not enough people give 10-8 rounds. And the first round was probably a good example of what should be a 10-8 round. Yeah, great the point. question is, do the judges score it that way? Some good judges do when a guy is really badly hurt and damaged. Take a look at our fight replay. Joe, sorry, brought to you by Bud Light. The perfect beer for whatever happens. I would think that this final round was 10-9, Jacare, but was the first round with this spinning back fist, 10-8. Whack. I mean, he got hurt. He got beaten down on the ground, and he went back to his corner, a wobbly mess. Look at this. I mean, there's a lot of referees who might have stopped that fight. When you see him get up and wobble like that, there's a lot of corners that might have stopped that fight. But Jacare recovered in the second and landed some good shots. And look at this. And here's the surprise. Jacare finally gets the takedown. And Yoel Romero just did not have the gas to stop him. Yep. Could not get back up until a couple minutes later. Jacare did some good damage from that position. Really interesting to see how this fight scored. It's in the hands of the judges now. Jacare, winner of eight straight. 
Yoel Romero, winner of six straight. Tons of mutual respect. Ah, the soldier god, the Brazilian, or Jacare Souza. Time for our official decision brought to you by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Fast 4G LTE T Mobile Network for just $30 period. Once again, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Glenn Trover scores it 29 27, Romero. Lester Griffin scores it 29 28, Sosa. And Tony Weeks scores it. 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero. Like Joe talked about, that big first round, such a key to this victory for Romero. Winner by split decision. I'm here with the winner, very happy Yoel Romero. Congratulations, sir. You had him badly, badly hurt in the first round. It looked like the fight was going to be stopped. Were you surprised he was able to survive? Yes. I, I, this, is a, this is a very surprise for me. I have big respect for Jagger because I feel a very hard punch in the face, but he continued. I have big respect for this guy. In the second round, he seemed to have recovered, and you slowed down. Were you pacing yourself because of the barrage that you put on him in the first round? No, no, no. Uh, uh, and myself, I know this is a big um, guerra, uh, war. I know, I know thing in my, in my scene, I finish in the first round. I think we had one fight like this, you know? When he continue, I say, that's what you think, and now you need a goal, and now you need a goal, bro. When you heard the scores and you heard that he had won on one judge's scorecard, were you concerned about the decision, especially considering he took you down in the third round? Uh, say the question again. I said when he heard the score and that it was a split decision, was he concerned that he uh, had been taken down the third round and perhaps he could have lost? Cuando viste los números y viste que era una decisión eh, a, la, a la mitad, estabas preocupado con el 